Spooky Saturday night, and the thing that I like about Spooky Saturday night is it doesn't mean it has to be ghosts or UFOs or skinwalkers. It can be dumbasses camping in the woods with no weapons to defend themselves. Spooky is spooky regardless of the situation. And I find it entertaining that people are still dumb enough to go out in the middle of the woods with no way to defend themselves. Even if a bear, what are they going to do? Tell a bear I got a buck knife? I mean, uh... Come on. So these are entertaining. I want to see insane. So that's why we're going to check this out. Spooky Saturday night goes camping. Let's do this. Its intensity may be more than some wish to be exposed to. You're watching Fear Fanatics. Scary videos from the web. Leave a comment for more videos like this one. Number five. Very Number 90s. Five. YouTuber Grizzly Gaz is on an overnight solo camp with his dog Fendi. He's camping on a disused railway line that was dismantled in 1953. The lady in white is supposed to haunt this location. Let's see if he captures anything. What a water purifier? That's pretty cool. That is really cool. Later that night, he can hear what sounds like humming or singing oh. coming from the woods. Hello? I'm like crying. Uh-huh. What animal can make that noise? A dog. Maybe. But why would a dog be out there? He Maybe has a, a dog. It wouldn't it? Yeah, but his dog should be tripping. The noises persist, so he gets up to investigate. See, there's his dog. Oh, that freaked me out. I thought that was somebody. Be a coyote, maybe? I that coyote sounded like cats nope. or something, or like dogs, like screeching. He really needs a better flashlight. Oh. It seems like Fendi has heard it too. Even our friends will heard that. Sounded like it was coming from over here. I paid like twenty five dollars on sounded Amazon. Like a woman crying. And you could see that flashlight Ooh. two blocks Go away. And everything. I mean and it could be they brighter in real life. Cameras don't exactly pick up. No, even with a camera you would see my light is going way down there. It's like the, the, he was holding that in his hand, it was tiny. Why would you go out there with just that? That dog's looking As at him like, we need to go. <laughs> the background, you can see the camera gets knocked by something nope. or someone. Bendy doesn't seem to notice. Hello? The thing is close, whatever it is. Mate, I'm off. He done said, nay, nay, I'm out of here. <laughs> they decide to call this overnight camping trip quits. 
because it's getting too creepy. Yeah, Maybe I'm the lady in white is trying to tell them to leave. Come on. And to hurry up. <laughs> but then he hears more singing. With a little pin light. Come on, man. Dude. Come on, man. People saw his flashlight and were like, yeah, let's mess with him. He can't see us 20 Somebody feet here. away. Something is watching them from behind the tree. And it really freaks them out. Absolutely. Bob to be pants then. Oh wow, I shat my pants then, absolutely, <laughs> call me whatever you want, but I'm walking in shat right now, <laughs> that was just weird that Would you stay or would you go? I mean you're in Are the middle of the woods so that literally could have been an animal It could have been anything But that is really creepy When he started hearing all of those noises and breaks out this freaking, it looked like one of those lights that you can buy at Walmart for that like three bucks. That attaches to your keys. <laughs> Not even, yeah, that or it's just like they have those little ones you can hang. We got someone to put in the closet and you turn it on and it can illuminate all of about three inches. Yeah. That's what his light looked like and he's out there hearing all these noises. Thinks he sees somebody. Uh-uh. Yeah. I'm going to have a thermonuclear <laughs> mile down a road flashlight because they're cheap. And why wouldn't you? Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Why would you? I mean, unless you're a ghost hunter on these YouTube channels, because that's the ghost hunters, I'm going to go get a $3 keychain light and my camera, and I'm going to walk around with nothing but potatoes. Offended. I, I didn't got do you. That. No, I got you a light, and that son of a bitch and I use that thing. illuminated the cemetery where it looked like daytime out there. Yeah, seriously. I ain't even lying. It was nice. <laughs> if she ghost hunts, she can see what's going on. That dude need to take his dog, get the hell out of there go to the store, buy a flashlight, and come back and do some more camping. But until you buy the flashlight, no more camping. You're done camping. You're done until you get the proper flashlight. You heard people around you and you can't look out and see, that's a wrap. Yep, so you, considering the circumstances. Van Liper Gary from YouTube's Travel with Gary and Amika was on a run through the forest of Tinsmuir. Out of nowhere, they came across a creepy cabin in the middle of the woods. Dozens of mannequins posed. Oh, everywhere. we've seen this one. How scary that is. Put a torch on. No father and, and daughter duo. On the ground, Whoa. Even on a ladder. Seeming to stare at them. That is weird, isn't it? Look at them they're everywhere. He's even more on the ladders. Oh, there's someone lying on the ground. It's falling over. Look at the one on the ladders. Going up the tree. Oh. What about the washing line over there to the left? Yeah, there. Keep it there. That is weird, isn't it? Owl in the tree. And there's a whole house there. The house looks abandoned. But you never know what could be inside. Yeah, yeah it wouldn't be me. Yeah. They got dolls. I'm to leaving. Caravan. It's all about ladies, that one is. It's an old, old, old house, isn't it? Yeah. And there's a car. Oh, with them in. Oh, with them in. Stop there. Yeah. What's the sign say? There. there. Stop. The second, the second best exotic COVID hotel. In the old car as well. For that, it's probably the weirdest thing I've ever seen in some woods. There's another caravan there. Shine on that caravan. <laughs> Greg's a little nervous about the approaching car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, this is where we pay to get in down here. Yeah, say this. Each other. Yeah, swap. Swap. 
but it leaves and they come Whoa. across some horses. I've got no idea, they're absolutely nuts though. Who seem to be stirred up over something. Back again. Mind the fence. We can't have steady cam on because it's too dark. It should be almost back at the van. And we're back. They made it back to the van and decide to leave. But they'll never forget that creepy cabin in the woods. When you see that many houses, or there's only a couple, but that many mannequins outside of these houses, and all this really weird art Stuff. deco, you know, the painting of the fingernails, and just, that's some weirdness that I just don't need in my life. No, you don't and, need that kind of juju. And I know that it was interesting because he had his kid with him. I get it. If I had my daughter with me, I'd be like, hey, let's check out some more. That's kind of crazy. You know, something we'll always remember. Yeah. But when that car started coming down the mm -hmm. road, that's a wrap. Nope. See that's ya. the end. We're gone. He started walking up the road towards them, which I don't know if I would have been able to do that. I might have taken us off onto a trail, off of the road, to make sure that I could get back to my thing without technically having to cross them because I don't know their intentions and I got my daughter. Yeah. So I don't know about that one. I, I would not have walked up to the car. I just don't, unless I'm armed. I mean, if I'm, yeah. again, if I Which have I my mean, pistol. Which, I mean, he could have been. He didn't address if he did right. or didn't. I have my pistol, then I might feel a little more comfortable. But even then, if I know that's in the middle of nowhere and it's an abandoned place and, and it doesn't look like anybody's lived there in ages and it could be a crack house. Never know. That's, an, that's all we need. That's somewhere people go to do drugs. And I don't need that car coming towards me when it could be a drug dealer or it could be some crackhead. I got my daughter. So I'm probably hitting a trail regardless if I'm armed or not. I just won't want to take that chance. Yeah. They obviously got out of it okay. So good on them. <clears throat> oh, oh, okay. YouTuber Camper Vibe is a female solo camper. Little does she know she's ended up in the most haunted forest in the UK. Screaming <laughs> woods. Near Pluckley and oh Kent. yeah! Because now I know I'm in the most haunted place in the whole of England. Now Pluckley, the village itself, which is haunted, is less than a mile stones throw away from where I am, and then this is the most haunted woods. When I was at the van earlier, I picked up some screenshots of some of the ghosts. Uh, I've probably already mentioned it at some point in the video. Now, 14 minimum known ghosts. Known ghosts. Uh, and I am in, or very near to, Screaming Wood. Screaming Wood, so this is where you can come for um, ghost walk tours and they'll take you around the woods and show you all the stuff. But basically, the journey through the woods is made even spookier than the skeletal trees, which we've seen in the area. Many lone wayfarers who have come this way have been scared witless by a sudden, loud, anguished scream. What was I hearing last night? Screams. Puppy! Honestly, I've never known the woods with so many strange noises. It's not just your normal birds and stuff and planes. There's a lot of planes. There's like this weird... Well, I don't really know how to describe it, but I'm tired. So I'm going to let this burn out in a bit. Sit here and enjoy a fire for a little while and then, yeah, head to bed. The hammock's really comfy, thank God. So I should sleep well, I would think. Sound like somebody ran up on her. What was that noise? Sound like somebody That's running up on her. She's going to attempt a 48 hour solo camp, but will she make it? Nope. Nope. I wouldn't She's either. She's already hearing footsteps. I've got no idea if you guys heard that or not, but honestly, I don't like it. I'm going to be honest. It's not deer. Like, I know what deer sound like. I spent so much time with deer. And screaming wood doesn't sound like anywhere I'd want to camp alone. No. Yeah, no. Later that night, she hears more footsteps right outside her tent. I'm sorry, I see planes, trains, and I'm thinking automobiles. <laughs> Sounds like footsteps. Yeah. Much 
windows are starting to squawk as if to warn her of danger. Maybe there's someone nearby. Oh, that's Watching what you her. want. Yeah. It's like one of those Blair Witch moments. Yeah. That's just the house. I didn't want to turn the light on earlier because I swear to God that was footsteps. That's just the house though. This is definitely the scariest night I've ever had in a tent. I'm sure I can still hear footsteps. And trains. I doubt if she got much sleep that night with all the footsteps and the crazy noises. Yeah, I don't think she slept at yeah, all. Yeah, the trains. <laughs> yeah. Shows. I wouldn't have. I doubt she'll spend another night in the screaming woods. <laughs> well, I would hope yeah. not. I'm sure she would have posted it if she did. That woman's insane. There's no way I would have stuck around if I heard that many noises nope. knowing the reputation that that place already had. Yeah, no. I'd be out of there after the first noise. Okay, let's go. Pack up. Well, when she was talking and she heard the footsteps like they ran right, you could hear it. It sounded yeah, like they ran that right been to her. End of the day. And there's no one there. That's enough for me to go, okay. Let's get out of here. I, I don't need this in my life. I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and. I don't need this kind of stress. <laughs> See ya. Right there, she needs to. <laughs> pack up. Get out of there. Yeah, this party's over, so get the hell out. Project Amber is a YouTuber and solo van life camper. His bridge stopped working on a mountain range in France. I'm gonna give it the full 24 hours, I think. What are you looking at? You keep freaking out, Doug. You're not over there. Laugh it off. Just laugh it, it off. off. There's actually a well. Just where I'm parked, you go down this little track, and there's a well with a big metal bar on it. And uh, originally I was gonna go and park there. Oh, hell yeah. I saw the well. Instantly, no. See the Ringu. No. Yeah, I feel you. He pulls the fridge out and begins to repair it, but that's when things started getting really strange. Let's hear what happened. Okay, I'm seriously freaked out now. Um, a minute ago, I could hear like really loud moaning, like. Aah! Like just no. the so I've come down to where I could hear it. Uh, got to this old well. Huh. No. I mean that thing's wild freaky. So it's out of the ring. But just as soon as I got here, just from over there, there's no track or anything. It's just wood. This girl appeared, dressed like kind of like a monk. Uh, no shoes, and no hair. So I said bonjour and that, and she re responded. Um, I asked if she was okay, but she didn't respond then. She just carried on walking. Um, so I carried on a bit and thought, I better double check. Went to go and find her again. She's gone. So up that way, that's where my van is. And that goes to the road. But down where she went, that way, there's nothing. And there's nothing for miles. Where did she go? I'm gonna leave. As he decides to leave, he sees <laughs> the I'm thing again. out of he here. Crossing the trail. Whilst this dude's fancy, now that's probably smart, Lance. Oh, at least he got his fridge fixed. I have not got a clue what was going on there. That was so weird. The well, the moaning from the forest, the girl. The, nah, maybe there's an explanation to it all, but I wasn't sticking around. I left. I booted it. I'm about 50 miles from there now. <laughs> uh, I saw the girl another, he put two some distance. Times. Last time I was near the van and she was 
running through the forest. I was, I was, I, I left. I was gone. I was gone so fast. Yeah, yeah. Sky from YouTube channel Swamp Valley is headed to do an overnight of wild camping in the middle of the woods. Every <laughs> wild camper must imagine what could happen to them while alone in the woods. It always starts off okay, but what if someone was following you? Yeah, there's right, somebody behind so you. I'm in Lanfina State and heading up to go meet Colin and Sam. They've already got to the camp and I'm just gonna go have a little fire. That's Chill creepy. Out. Should be good. Stay tuned. Just standing there. Now Sky begins walking deeper into the woods, and it isn't long before he notices he isn't alone. Hey, I don't want to sound like a big pansy. This is really freaking me out. Somebody is actually following me. Just laugh it off. <laughs> That's why if you have a gun, you can stop, wait for him to get to you, and go, He literally hey. just stops he and picks stares. up the pace and continues to film, so if anything should happen to him, someone may find the footage. Yeah, you know you're paranoid if that happens, because that's happened to me. I am. Where I filmed and was like, I just hope somebody finds this, just in case. I'm gonna walk faster. I'm gonna walk faster. You're not really walking faster. Why are you walking deeper into the woods? That's my thing. Like, get out. Well, he looks like he's out. And he's just creepy Michael Myers walking, just... Think of what Did he stop? I'm like, is that a prank? He looked like he stopped. Like you would think yeah, if some dude here. that's following you sees that you're reporting but that they would stop, around, right? The man is gone. I just... I just bloody call this. Check your front, bruh. Where'd he go? That's. Now you hear the piano music from a Halloween. I know, that's why I'm just like, oh god. Alright, let's see. Let's see how good he is in the woods. We are nervous now. Like the, the hunt did become the hunter. Sky decides to hide and wait for the man to pass. This could turn out to be a very bad idea. Oh God. The man catches up, but Sky is hiding behind the tree in some thicket. He passes by without realizing Sky is watching him now. But the man is headed right for the campsite. Dude looks like Opie. <laughs> I'm gonna follow you now. <laughs> How the tables have turned. Yeah, you need to call your buddies and say, hey guys, they're sorry heading to the camp. If he has any buddies with him. Oh, dude. He's just standing there. He gonna peek around that tree and he gonna come running hey. at your ass full speed. I'm getting nervous. Oh, no. He's, he's walking. 
You're literally doing everything your wrong. Your friend is literally a goner. Just go. Yeah, Just you've go. done everything wrong so far in this entire scenario by allowing him to pass you and not approaching him and addressing him. You should have. If you're going to let him pass you, as soon as he gets by you, you get behind you, him and let him know that you're behind him now no, so you see if he stops and see where it goes. You just run away. <laughs> don't just follow him. No, don't follow him. him. Just run away. <laughs> that's, that's stupid. Don't trail him to begin with. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's funny now. Ha ha. Until he turns around and sees you. All this could be easily over if you just had a 9mm. Yeah, seriously. Have you ever heard Curiosity no, killed the cat? <laughs> Where are you, Australian? <laughs> I mean, I would at least have like a 14 inch kukri or something with me. Something? If I don't have a. a Pistol? Something intimidating. Uh, I'm going to have a knife that's going to second as a sword. He's making me nervous. A machete. You know, you're in the woods. Is he a real psycho? the hell is he? But anyway... Nah, Maybe it's just coincidence. keeps moving forward and Sky keeps following him. He knows he has to warn his friend Colin. Oh, he does have a friend here. That's what I was saying. Okay. His buddy's at the campsite. Hey, bruh. Yeah, get out of there. <laughs> I don't like the where did he go. Yeah, if you're gonna tell somebody, you can't lose him. This guy gets closer to the campsite, but he loses sight of the man. He was right, yeah. Yeah, now he's hunting you again. Yeah. We've seen this horror movie. I'm getting nervous. My blood pressure is rising. <laughs> Waiting on him to just turn the camera and he's standing right behind him. This is not cool. He tries to call Colin again. Fucking hell, I don't know where he is. I give Colin a phone. Just tell him so he doesn't get fucking done it. Just relax. Take a breath. What do you do? Hit him in the head with that green thing? Oh shit. The man appears out of nowhere and pours gasoline on this guy and is now chasing him through the woods with a torch. Oh. That is not good. That's where do 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 do. You have gasoline all over you. I would still shoot. You would. S that would not be a good idea. <laughs> oh, fuck, it stinks. Yeah, you're done, dude. He he can hear you, smell you. Fuck. Oh, fuck, no. Fuck. I'm getting nervous. Fuck, oh, 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 fu
Is this video real? No. Or is it a prank on his viewers? Visit his channel to find out more. Dude. I don't know about that. That can't be real, right? I mean, who would have found that footage to post it and not have given an update on Colin's cool? He's cool. He made it. You just got Blair witched, I think. Uh, <laughs> that's not cool, man. Yeah. That was the exact same response as everyone at the end of Blair Witch too. So that's still not cool. This makes me never want to go camping. I don't like camping anyway, so no, no worries here. That made me nervous throughout the entire thing. It, it makes me frustrated. Why would anyone want to tail a stalker? The problem is, if you think you're being stalked, and you've tried to address the person, he never did. He never stopped and said, "Hey." Can I help you? Do you need help? What is wrong? And they don't respond to you. Then you reach in your pocket and you go ahead and load one in the chamber. Just in case. You just stick it back just and you case. walk towards them and just go, hey, I mean no harm. I just need to know what in the hell you're doing in the middle of nowhere behind me. Got a, apparently a gas can. Did you run out of gas? Do you need help? And if he doesn't respond to me then, we're going to have a problem. It's going to be a big problem and it's going to be their problem. But he didn't do any of that. He decided to play cat and mouse. Which wasn't smart on his part. It never with. is. Because the moment you lose sight of the person you're stalking... You're screwed. Because he knew you were onto him. So when you lost sight of him, it didn't mean he stopped looking for you. So if he sees you first, which in this case apparently he did, you get gasoline dumped on you and some crazy dude running out with a torch and then just throws it. I don't know what that was supposed to do because obviously we didn't catch him on fire. I think it's faked. I think it was a good fake. It really got her. It got me to an extent. Once he got to the point of attacking him, that's when I kind of stopped and was like, okay, is that, I don't know if that's real. This is why I don't go camping. You tell us what you think. Get down in the comments. Like, share. Subscribe. Do the thing. Do the thing. Until the next time, guys, as always. Come at me, bro. The bro down is over. Let's. Throw out!